So next point under essentials, a few more habits I want to talk about. This next one definitely, the first time you hear it, sounds like a little thing. Sounds like it's not a very big deal. But I've seen games won and lost because of this next habit. You never want to dribble a loose ball. Always grab loose balls. Never dribble a loose ball. Always grab loose balls. And again, seems like a little thing, but this is a little thing that as the week goes on, I think you're going to find can make a big difference. First of all, one reason you don't want to dribble a loose ball, the most obvious reason, if I go after this loose ball and I pick it up with a dribble, well, what have I just done? Now I've just killed my dribble. Whereas if I had just grabbed this thing, well, now I still got the ability to go somewhere with my dribble. That's the most obvious reason. But here's some not so obvious reasons. Let's say I'm going after this loose ball. Let's say my basket's right here. There's a loose ball that's bouncing away from my basket. If I'm playing against good competition, chances are I'm not the only person ha hustling after this loose ball. Chances are there's a defender that's hustling after it as well. And if I pick this thing up with a dribble, well, here comes that hustling defender, knocks it out of my hands, goes to the other end, shoots a layup. Whereas if I grab it, then I don't give them that opportunity. Also, if I pick this thing up with a dribble, let's say there's not a hustling defender. Let's say I take the time to turn and look. There's nobody hustling after it. So I think, oh, no big deal. I can pick this thing up with a dribble. Well, if you pick this thing up with a dribble, well, now what are you forced to take a bunch of? P dribbles. So here's another way that you can eliminate some of your P dribbles is to never dribble a loose ball. Also, anytime there's a situation like that where, say, there's a loose ball that's rolling away from the basket or, or bouncing away from the basket, a lot of times all 10 players on the court are just kind of naturally drifting towards that loose ball and the defense is distorted. And a lot of times, the moment you get to that loose ball is the moment one of your teammates is wide open underneath the basket, wide open for an easy shot. Well, if you pick th this thing up with a dribble, well, by the time you turn around and look, well, you may have missed that opportunity. The defense isn't distorted anymore. They've recovered. But if you pick it up, if you grab it and peek at that rim right away, well, then you got a chance to make one of those special passes to hit somebody when they're wide open right away like that. So there's a lot of good reasons to never dribble a loose ball. And once again, this is another one of those things that does not come naturally. The most natural thing to do is to pick up a loose ball just like this. That's what 99.9% .9 of players do. But again, if you want to be special, you've got to learn to do some things that don't come naturally.